It's a zinc cylinder. Oh, wow. There were zinc encasements for letters to avoid censorship when Paris was under siege by the Prussian and the French armies as they rolled these spherical cases along the river to be caught in nets by their comrades beyond the city limits. The Women's Union set out to reshape the lives of women and to give practical support to the Commune. Their committees met daily across Paris, taking over churches and other public spaces. It took women off the streets and set them to work in their thousands in sewing collectives. These independent workshops made the clothes for the National Guard. The Women's Union became the Commune's largest and most effective organisation. Its founder was Elizabeth Dmitriev, the 20-year-old Russian delegate of the International. She issued this proclamation. We want work, but in order to keep the product, no more exploiters, no more masters. Work and well-being for all. Everything here is unambiguously a token of glory for one section of the ruling class or another. Commune reached out far beyond Paris, its worker-led government admitting migrants into the leading ranks with a shared commitment to struggle against the ruling class. Surpassing prejudices in this heat, patriotism dissolves into internationalism. The Commune stirs the socialist movement. Marx said, If the Commune was the true representative of all the healthy elements of French society, and therefore the truly national government, it was at the same time as a working men's government, as the bold champion of the emancipation of labour, emphatically international. The commune annexed to France the working people all over the world. Communards tried to communicate with their comrades around the censorship measures. One very night, I don't know how, it happened that we two were alone in the trench in front of the station, the former Zouaf Pontifical and me with two loaded rifles. We were incredibly lucky that the station was not attacked that night. As we were performing our sentry duty, coming and going in the trench, he said to me when we met up, What effect does the life we are leading have on you? Well, I said, the effect of seeing before us, a shore that we have to reach. For me, he replied, the effect is one of reading a book with pictures. We continued walking back and forth in the trench under the silence of the Versailles at Clamart. The earth belongs to humans. The idle rich can go some other place. How many are there munching on our flesh? But if one morning these ravens, these vultures disappear, the sun will shine forever.
common art story on symbols of the old order, and their tradition held symbols that assisted them in their struggle. The old rulers were depicted as moldy pears. The aspirant middle classes were gloated at for having to eat their pets. The common arts claimed the rising sun as their own. We have the milkshake for fascists, the corn cob for liberals, but we continue to recognise the importance of tearing down symbols. ruling class reacted so viciously to the commune. Yeah, but it was still a remarkable event in the history of class struggle. What could they have even done to win the demands though? Look how thin the walls of the coffins were. 